This video will show you some upcoming analysis features for the Race Capture app. We'll get started by navigating to the analysis view off the home page of the app. And what you're looking at right here are the analysis features we have already in the app, where you can look at channel data correlated over distance and time, and you can see that data mapped to a position on track. And what we have is Ryan's session at Sonoma Raceway a while back. We're looking at lap two, which had a lap time of two minutes, six seconds. And it looks like we're looking at RPM data over time, or we could flip it back to distance. Now what's new is that we've added some navigation arrows to the analysis view that will let you switch between different views for analysis. The first one we're making is a summary view that will let you look at summary information for a selected session, lap, and the channel that you are looking at. Here we have some min, average, and max values for the RPM channel for Ryan's second lap at Sonoma. Now it gets more interesting as we select laps. So if we select a few more laps, then you will see the min, average, and max columns highlight with the extents of those values. So we have the, the min value and the max value highlighted for Ryan's session and lap two, three, and four. Now we can go in and select another channel, let's say speed, and that channel gets stacked to the right of the first channel that you selected. Now things get really interesting when you go and select laps from another session. So let's say we look at Bob's session at Sonoma and once you bring in the laps from Bob they're mixed in with Ryan's laps and then you can see the min and max values for all the channels that you have selected. Speaking of which let's see we want to ditch RPM and uh, look at something else like oil temperature. Well you can do that. And so on. Well, there you have it. One of the new analysis views that we're adding to the Race Capture app. This one will let you perform some critical analysis that can indicate things like driver smoothness or look at engine performance or reliability issues. Maybe somebody money shifted and you have to figure out what lap they did it on. Or maybe you're just trying to coach a driver on how to be smooth. Bring in a rookie driver, compare their laps against your ace driver, and see what they do in comparison. All right. Thanks a lot.